According to a survey by Gallup, 70% of Americans hate their jobs. Of course, how we spend our days is how we spend our lives. That means 70% of Americans hate their life. But there is a way out. In this video, we will talk about exactly why you need to make a change right now and break down step by step how you can slowly start to escape the nine to five rat race and achieve financial freedom through finding and pursuing your purpose. I prophesize. And the sauce that we give towards the end of the video is definitely worth sticking around for. So don't go nowhere. I wanna introduce you to two people, Randy and Austin. Randy has been working at a factory for about six years. He has received some promotions and pay increases, but he hates his job. He hates the way it looks, he hates the way it smells, and he really hates the people he works with. He wakes up and goes to work making money for some big corporation, helping them further their dreams and their purpose. By the time he gets home, he's tired, drained, and in a bad mood. He then takes that out on his family, therefore the family dynamic is all out of whack. If only Randy could figure something else out. On the other hand, we have Austin. Austin has always been passionate about sports and exercise. So he started doing private personal training lessons. It started out as just a side hustle, but eventually his personal training business started to earn more than his nine to five. Therefore, he was able to quit his nine to five. He's now making over 100,000 a year doing something he loves and is passionate about. This then pours over into every area of his life. He has more money and time because he works for himself. He has more joy to give his family because a soul sucking nine to five job isn't stealing it away from him every day. And he is just overall happier because he's building something for himself and not building something for someone else. When you work for yourself, you make more money. One, you're a specialist. So it's normal to charge somebody 150 to $200 an hour. When you have a job, you work 40 hours, the government takes taxes, and then gives you what's left over to pay your bills and do whatever you need to. But when you are self-employed, your client gives you the money, you pay all of your bills and expenses, and then you pay taxes on what's left over. When you work for yourself, you're happier. You choose who you work with and when you work. Also, studies show that humans are most happy when they are building something for themselves, whether it be a project, a business, a relationship, when you're self-employed, that's what you're doing. You're building your business or your brand. And every time you get a win, it increases your happiness, your drive, and your confidence. When you work for yourself, you have more freedom. You don't have to be somewhere at a specific time, five days a week for the rest of your life. If you wanna take a week off and travel, you can take a week off and travel. This freedom is so liberating. And when you're able to earn your own money by building your own business, it's truly an amazing thing. Okay, I'm gonna introduce you to two people. One's name is Ryan, one's name is Robert. They both started working at the same company, same position at the same time. They both got paid the same and they both worked the same amount of hours. Ryan would get his paycheck, pay his bills, and then the money that was left over, he would use to go out drinking, smoke a little weed, maybe buy a new outfit, you feel me? Robert would get his paycheck, pay his bills, and then put the rest in savings. They both worked the same amount of hours every week. When Ryan got off work at night, he would smoke a little weed, catch a little vibe, and play Call of Duty or Fortnite until he went to sleep. Staying up late playing video games would cause him to wake up late and barely make it to work. And then on the weekends, he would hang out with the guys, do a little drinking, hit the club, and of course, chase women. When Robert got off work, he would hit the gym, then go home to learn skills like content creation and online business. He would go to sleep early every night so he could wake up early and have two hours to plan out his business before he went to work. He would spend every weekend learning, reading, planning, and creating content. Both of these guys went on living their life like that for the next three years. Ryan is still working the same job, doing the same thing, and he also caught herpes from messing with so many women. Robert was able to take the money that he saved and the skills that he learned and start an online supplement brand. And it's now doing $10,000 in revenue every month. So he got to quit his nine to five. The difference between these two guys is that Ryan chose the easy path and now he's going to have a hard life. Robert chose the hard path and now he's going to have an easy life. I'm going to say that again for you. When you choose to do what's easy, 
like chase women, sleep in, do drugs and alcohol, and not make self-improvement an everyday part of your life, when you get older, your life is going to be hard. Real fucking hard. Don't waste five, 10 years of your life doing nothing and wonder why your life is going to shit. Focus on self-improvement and building yourself up every single day. When you do that, you set yourself up for an easy life. It might not be easy right now, but in the future, it will be. Sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice now and live good later. Yo, if you guys are enjoying this video, hit the like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Because when you guys do these actions, it encourages me to continue to create content consistently. Hey, yo, hey, hey, yo, hey, yo. Okay, let's fast forward a little bit. 40 years later, Ryan is 65 years old and about to retire. His journey in the workforce is almost complete. He put in 40 years at the company and now he's about to retire with a nice little pension and be able to live his life off on some beach somewhere sipping pina coladas. No, that's not how it happens. Ryan is beat down and he is broken. The act of being forced to go in and work for somebody else doing something you hate every day for so many years has took a toll on him mentally and physically. He is bitter and his body is worn out. His pension is barely enough to survive and he's let his whole life pass him by. The drugs and alcohol have also took a toll on him and his health has deteriorated. He'll be lucky to make it past 70. On the other end, Robert has lived an amazing life of building and selling multiple brands, starting different businesses, and even investing in real estate. The acts of daily learning and self-improvement have enabled Robert to live a life and build a legacy that he is actually proud of. He is in tip-top health and could keep up with most 20 and 30-year-olds. He is still in his prime and has many plans for the future as he continues living in his purpose. Don't be Ryan, be Robert. Now the part all of you have been waiting for. Step by step, how can you start to build your own business or brand in your spare time? Also, if you want guidance in building your business or online brand, consider joining our free VIP community where we support and encourage each other on the journey to achieving financial freedom. If you're interested, the link is in the description and it's always free to join. You guys can come in there, ask questions, get some of our resources and even watch some of our free courses. Okay, let's get into the steps. Step one, pick something you're passionate about. This could be audio, video, fitness, health, wellness. Just pick something you know you love, you know you could help someone with, and you know you could talk about it every day for the rest of your life. Step two, become an expert at that topic. Read every single day. Study what you read. Take what you are learning and then externalize it into your own words. Engulf yourself daily in that topic and become an expert. Become so confident in that area of expertise that nobody can fuck with you. Step three, start to write about it and talk about it every day online. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, whichever platform you are comfortable with, start with that platform and start to post every single day. You can focus on one platform or you can focus on multiple. The important thing is that you just start writing, recording, and posting content every single day. You can document yourself throughout the journey, whatever you're trying to accomplish. You could document yourself building your brand. You can document yourself starting or creating projects, or you can just get on and share your expertise or share your point of view on all of these different things. You can create educational content. You could live stream. You could do Twitter posts. Just start to write, record, create content, and post every single day. The reason that we're doing this is because not only are we learning, but we're building our audience and we're building our business at the same time. That is a true cheat code in business. And people love to watch that stuff. It's educational and it's also inspiring. And step four, you want to create an offer that you can sell to people. If you're doing fitness, this could be one-on-one -on -one personal training. This could be workout plans. If you're doing video, this could be monthly content creation for a business. This could be a video editing package. This could be videos and resources that you sell to other editors. If you're doing health and wellness, this could be meal plans, diet plans, cookbooks, so on and so forth. Just come up with an enticing offer that solves a problem for someone because that is what business is all about. 
solving problems. Just ask yourself, what kind of problems can you help people solve and how can you do it as fast as possible? And step five, learn other skills like marketing, content creation, and sales so you can get your offer in front of people and persuade them to buy it. Okay guys, we just scratched the surface, but if you wanna learn more about this stuff or if you have any questions, join our free community, jump in there, and yo, I will help you or guide you in any way that I can. And if you wanna see me break down how I hit my first $10,000 a month online, click this video.